Okay. 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 I've been spacing out. It's been X amount of months. X amount of days. I mean, X amount of week. I mean, uh, X amount of hours. Yes, sure. Let's let's go with that. Hey there, guys. Luigi Mays here. Welcome back to an episode of Persona 5 Royal. Last time, I don't know, something involving Futaba, maybe. Either that or we hung out with a catchy. I don't remember. Do you? I don't. I typically don't. Ugh, my fur reeks of smoke. Damn it, Futaba. Well, at least she at least she seemed like she was having fun, but still, gah. All right, all right. Uh, we got fireworks done. Who wants to hang out today? What day is today? I need my my notes. My notes have gone had done goofed, so it's just like I'm trying to remember where everything is. What are we are doing? Where am I going? Golly, man. It's Sunday, right? So I, should, so I should drink the juice. Let's drink the juice. Let's fill ourselves up with kindness. Let's go. Chug that out. Ch chug, chug that drink. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Oh, my stats are different. Sorry. <laughs> I know this is gonna be completely irrelevant and dated, but uh. <laughs> I'm gonna be, it's gonna be so awkward pressing buttons from here on out. Um, I'm just saying, uh, <laughs> I can't say anymore without completely dating the damn thing. Oh, you don't got no Phantom Thieves where you're from, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's the power of Japan. <laughs> the Phantom Thieves are awesome. They're like a manga coming to life. But I mean, we can't rely on them for everything, right? <laughs> Why not? Stop lecturing us. <laughs> Somebody is strong. But we're not here for any of that stuff because we got stuff to do. We're hanging out with someone, and that someone is uh, is Yoshida. Everyone. Because you know we gotta hang out with him. I guess we're we're rank eight. Yeah, rank eight. What's my availability? Oh, it's perfect. I'm free right now. Thank you. Oh, some things you want, I want to hear. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's hear them. Oh, the stage is set. Oh, I forgot I have auto on. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. But I know you're not going to be my right hand man, right? Don't worry. I won't pull any tricks. Feel free to talk about being falsely accused. I'll handle whatever comes from it. I saw Koromoto's grandson around here somewhere. I bet he's curious about today's speech. I see. I haven't spoken to him since we last met. Well, this speech should, ser should serve as your response to him. I don't think any of the parties will back no good, Tora. Yeah, you're right, he's gonna talk about the Phantom Thieves though, right? I couldn't care less about him. I'm just interested in hearing about the Phantom Thieves. Very well. Okay, I'm going to get started. Break a leg. Yes. <laughs> will do. Everyone. The reason they're causing such a stir is because they are addressing the world's problems. What are you doing, Toronosuke? <clears throat> Setting aside whether their actions are right or wrong, there is one thing I can safely say about the Phantom Thieves. A belief with conviction has the ability to move a person's heart. I, I am sure you are all aware that I am no good Tora, the one of accused of embezzlement. I was a fool 20 years ago. It's no wonder that I was considered a failure as a politician. However, because I was accused like that, I was able to understand the suffering of the weak. The most important thing why am I in politics? In the past, it was merely for personal gain. But why do the Phantom Thieves continue to change hearts? I believe they do it for the world and its people. And in choosing to do justice for others, they had no choice but to disguise themselves. No matter what the world says, I fully support them. I... I'm just an average citizen. However, I will continue to voice my beliefs. I may not be able, uh, be able to become a Diet member this election, and I may not be able to affect change during my lifetime. However... But I've made my peace with that. I will be happy as long as I can stand a meaningful stepping stone for the future of our youth. 
Thank you for listening. I set the stage for nothing. So you have no intention of accusing old man Kuramoto? Yes. That's right. Sheesh. Such a heartfelt speech for someone your age. People are probably laughing at you as we speak. I doubt any of them were moved by your words. I might be the only one in this entire city who was. Sushita. Proceed as you wish with your candidacy. I'll take measures to ensure the party backs you. Within the limits of my abilities, of course. Goodbye. Mm. My candidacy, huh? What an unexpected turn of events. The Phantom Thieves. <coughs> Perhaps it's the effects of you moving my heart. Hey, look! You had a change of heart! <laughs> that must be it. Still, I have you to thank for all this. The Phantom Thieves. The power to change a person's heart. I don't possess a special power like they do, but I won't lose to them when it comes to conviction. Speech is my only weapon. Just my voice and my words. That is how I win people over. Thank you. Thank you for sticking for, uh, for thank you for sticking by my side, Satokun. No problem. And it's definitely not because I'm a phantom thief. No sorry, boy. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Contrary to what I thought, getting your heart stolen isn't a, such a bad thing. If he's a member of the Phantom Thieves, then... Ah, I'm talking to myself again. Another ha bad habit of mine. Time to finish up for today. Well then, I'll see you again. Right, it, 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 it's, did someone figure out that I'm a Phantom Thief? <laughs> if that's the case, like I said, I'm doing a real piss poor job of like keeping my identity a secret. Futaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Don't worry, I'll fight him off. Don't do anything that'll make you stand out, moron. Just act with your brains, okay? And that is how I'm definitely gonna act! Come on, Sojiro! We're fine! Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip! Don't underestimate me! Uh, right, uh, sorry. I guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. 
No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But... Lady On... Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Banana! Banana! Ah, the sand's way out! It's dangerous if you run around like that. Here comes Damn it. You don't get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? You know, I hate to agree, but, uh, <clears throat> you have a point there. Right? Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it, because they're always around us. Hey. How do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal... you know what? It, 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 is the answer swimsuits? You moron, that's a crime! What we're gonna steal in reality are... girls' hearts! That was my second guess. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. But you're a cat. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well, let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. What the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! just looks kind of bland to me. Eh, feel better. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? Hmm. Did someone follow us here? 
Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh, no. What are you guys doing here? Oh, sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> Just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go, sorry! Was it something I said? No, oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. No, no more makeovers. By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time An entered my gaze. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so... You were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start! Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. <sighs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. Well, we did well to hold them off. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. Probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us!
you know? All this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, oh, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. 
But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's codename? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case... Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. Ha <laughs> ha! In your face! Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? How about internet? Too simple. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle, with my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate! Should we get going then? Yes. The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash. Whether they're connected to us or not. Hey. Huh, you're back. How'd it go with Futaba? I hear you've been keeping her company for the past few days. Thanks. Oh, hold on, my phone vibrating. A criminal who uses the metaverse to carry out their crimes. This is no longer a matter we can ignore. Especially if they might be the one who killed Futaba's mom. Well, to be honest, I had considered the idea that they might be behind only the rumored psychotic breakdowns. But now it appears as though this person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people have mental shutdowns, which then cause them to die. That's what happens when you kill someone's shadow, yeah? Mm-hmm. We were worried about it with, uh, back with Kamoshina and Madarame, remember? Psychotic breakdowns and mental shutdowns. It would make sense if the same person was behind them. 
The news never talks about the victims dying, so people only know about the breakdowns. So this shit's seriously a case! If that's for real, whoever's doing it is some kind of assassin. I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. I would suggest we I would suggest we be more cautious going forward as well. We still don't know much about uh, we still don't know much even with our metaverse nav. That is true. I wonder why that thing exists. <laughs> I can tell you why. There was a man in my dream. He had a long nose. A dream? He still half asleep, dude? I wonder if that criminal is using the app too. Futaba, this seems like your area of exp expertise. Do you know anything about it? No, I've never even heard of it, uh, of it before. I mean, it's not re even really an app. It's more like a mysterious app-like thing. I see. It's okay, though. I might not know much about the nav, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. I'll guide you to whatever uh, whatever criminal you're looking for. <laughs> you can rely on me. Awesome, dude. You're way more reliable than Mona. Damn it, Ryuji. You always find the worst possible things to say. Isn't that what that makes his character, though? Oh, no, my phone's vibrating again. Hey, Sato, you live in Yagen, right? You know about the old movie theater there? Well, the old couple that runs it is apparently getting threatened by land spec uh, speculators. They're trying to say the theater's in the way of some building they want to put up. We can't let them force those people out, right? <laughs> Let's tear that baby down! Well, I feel bad for the old couple. Right? That old couple is so afraid of the threats that they, want, they don't even want to open their theater. Anyway, our target is a guy named uh, Yasuo, Yas, Yasuo Jochi. Let's drive him off and save that old couple. Mm. Hmm, there might have been a change in momentum because of all the magic stuff. If you want to go now, if you want to go now, would be the right time. Let's discuss, uh, <laughs> let's discuss with everyone at the hideout. We will eventually. Not right now. I got messages. I know we just finished talking about it, but... Here's a photo I took today. What? I'm in there too. You look like you're having fun. Yeah, you look like you're having fun, Futaba. Ahn's a pretty good camera woman. Is this what, it feel, what it's like to feel photogenic? You're not, you're not used to looking good in pictures. It certainly is a fine shot. I get you. Indeed, this picture ha has even captured all the architectural grandeur of my sandcastle. I'll take your word for it, man. Ah, uh, Yusuke, never change. Alright, that's the episode. Hope everyone enjoys our mandatory beach episode. Next time, even more plot!